Alright, remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment, all that good stuff. I'm sure you all know that by now. It's the, it's the beginning of the video, because I'm going to go inside and warm up my my uh, taste buds a little bit. Some have been waiting for, for quite a while. Let's not waste any time. Welcome to Jimmy's Product Reviews, the Trade City's very own food product reviewer. Well, I finally got a hold of these. Doritos Flamin' Hot Nacho. You know, my past reviews about, about hot and spicy foods, there's been lots of times, there's, there's been a little history of, of uh, the, the heat or the spice being underwhelming and, and not, not living up, up to the hype. But... These could be the exception to the rule because from what I've seen from other reviewers, these had quite some heat to them. So let's pick out a well, they're all red, but I want hey, here, this one. This one's pretty good. Here it is, and all its flaming hot glory. So, and of course, I don't have a drink with me because, well, I guess I like to live dangerously when it comes to hot and spicy foods or foods that. Or supposedly it's supposed to be hot and spicy, but anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's see how flaming hot these really are. It's building. I'm going to have to eat a few more of these to see if, if it really built. Here's some more nice red coating on it. You know, I'm not really overwhelmed by these. I mean, well, these not by the heat. The heat is not like kicking my ass or anything. I mean, it's because, you know, here in northern Illinois, it's been snowing, it's been cold. I think the cold, snowy weather kind of dumbed down the heat a little bit, but I mean, the flavor is there, the, the nacho flavor is there, but here, let's try another one. Yeah, I was hoping these would be as hot as those Doritos roulette that came out a while back. And remember those where we took a, we, we took a chance with with, the, with those, and if you pulled out like one of the few ones that had some heat. Now those the ones that did pack heat, believe me, they packed heat. I was hoping these would be as hot as those, except it wouldn't just be every few chips; it would be the whole bag full of chips. But and the flavor is good, but. And, and the heat's there, but it's not crazy or anything. You know, it's it's good, but I was expecting more heat. Unless I, can, unless I can just handle the heat better than most people, I don't know. But I've heard other viewers say that, you know, they couldn't handle the heat. But anyway, it's my review. Oh, I didn't give it a rating. But you might want that. Yeah, I'm giving it a low 4 out of 5 because, you know, the heat wasn't what I expected it to be. Unless there's something wrong with this bag, but, well, I got another bag too, but. Anyway, that's my review, and for those in the northern Illinois area and around, you know, be careful driving. Go to Duncan Wallace, you absolutely have to. Stay warm, dry, and safe, and bye-bye. You know, maybe I didn't get this long enough to build up because uh, I'm starting to feel some effects from it. I mean, my tongue is uh, 
is burning a little bit and I thought a second ago I thought I felt a hot sting in my in my nose and am I sweating of course it doesn't take much to make me sweat anyway but maybe I gotta um, eat a little more to really get a feel for the heat I don't know just like it hot that's all <laughs>